Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. I uh, apologize for the lack of episodes lately, I've been feeling absolutely terrible. As a lot of you know, I have back problems, and it's been it's been getting to me, plus life and work and everything else. What can I say, I want to be a YouTube star, right? But I have a, a, a bit of an idea I want to work on that I've been thinking about for a while, as you've already seen from the thumbnail, is I want to do what I'm going to call Skylab, and it's going to be... A flowing, flying base, but it's going to be a different type of base. And it's also going to give me an excuse to actually use Windows for a change. Uh, it's one of the things I haven't actually used yet. Uh, I've been it was all wrapped up in the Walker project, but I do do have some good pr ideas coming up that I want to start working on. Uh, this build here, I'm going to have to work within uh, the build. Uh, the animation range which is 100 meters as you know uh, there is a few things I know but uh, I'm not gonna get tell any secrets but one of the things I do know from, that I heard from the developers is that actually gonna be changing the animation range up to 200 meters so that means builds like this can be four times the size and I'm gonna have more fun with the builds as I use them so what I plan on doing is I want to have a central hub so let's go ahead and start this like so it basically is going to be a, be a main building uh with sort of like glass roads going around it con connecting to f external wings as you can call why does that look so dark probably because it's still in the morning but uh yeah and so let me just get this started and uh, because I'm going to be have using hinges, everything's going to be basically basically going to be floating. I do have to build on odds, so I'm going to get a bit of a layout set up here. Uh, what I will do too, before I forget, uh, because of my anim the animation range, I have to stay. Uh, from one, when I'm at one corner, I can't be more than 100 meters from the other corner, or the other corner is not going to move. If I'm driving around, I got to make sure that everything stays in range. So I'm going to place that there. I'm going to set the navigation onto that, and we'll set that to B for base. So that means I can go 50 meters that way, that way, that way, that way from this point, and this whole thing will keep actually flying. I should actually put it here, but whatever so let me get this floor set up and then we'll start going on from there you know i love the fact that they actually changed the, the block placement because i can stand all the way back here and i can actually place the blocks it saves me so much time wish i had something like this with the helicarrier so many things i wish i had with the helicarrier but that is really nice i like that anyway all right so there's the and that can be the main building, the main island, we'll call it. Uh, I was going to make it a little bit bigger, and I started realizing it was a little big. I know it's not like me to say something like that, but it was a little on the big side. But the reason being is because I want to be having sort of a road going around. So I'm going to be using the windows. I've already done a bit of a test. You can sort of see it over there. But what I'm going to be doing is... Because they are, what was it, 6 by 7 I'm actually going to go this way. I'm going to put another beam here, which is a 4. And then put another window, which was 6. Nope, 5. Like so. And there was going to be some more blocks here. Uh, I don't think a post is actually going to fit. I think that's too long. 4. Yes. Uh... Yeah, it's a little long. Yeah, we'll go with the small blocks here. Oops. And then what's going to happen is uh, one block there, we'll throw a hinge there, and then throw another block, and then we're going to continue on like so. Of course, I will have to plant this because it's going gonna, it's gonna to want to do things I don't want it to do. So that's going to stay in place, and then go on from there and then from here it's gonna be the same oh no I do have to move this back because I'm supposed to be able to drive off the glass onto this one I think that's how I had it set up 
Let me figure this out. Hang on. No, that'll do it. That'll be right. Uh, what I will do is I will use the arc blocks. I'll use that here, sort of as a bit of a rounded lip, which you know, is at seven. Actually, not even like that. This is not way the. So I do want to sort of drive around. So in this way, I'd be able to actually drive around here, drive off for of this one, drive onto here, which is just going to be a little ex bridge extension. We'll go ahead and we'll put uh, put these on this side as well. Just to give you an idea of what I'm doing here, I'll go ahead and okay, make sure I'm going the right way there. Looks kind of funny. I might change it, but at least we give us something to drive over. It will be flexing. And then from here, where are we? From Beacon 24. So. Yeah, I'll probably end up doing too long. And this is just a connecting bridge to our next section. And there's going to be four sections like this. So let me get these little, little connector ramps, sections, whatever, and the road going around put together. And I'll bring you back when it's done. And here's what I got so far. I had to make a few modifications. I was uh, running into space issues, believe it or not. Uh, this, these are the extensions over here. I'll give you a third-person view here so you can get an idea. These are just little connector sections to the other floating platforms that are going to be connected to this. And there's going to be four main areas. Uh, one of them might be a little different, but uh, on one side here we'll have a couple of greenhouses, probably have a couple of food and drink machines as well. On another side we'll have uh, the main main power area there's going to be another another sort of junction here where we'll have our power situation over here where the generators are going to be and there's going to be a drop down ramp here and we'll get into that one when that time comes so it's going to be an interesting idea and then come over to this other side here this, i think this was going to be it was going to be like a main storage probably printers but you know we got a fair amount of room in here so that won't be an issue. And then the other end, end originally was going to be like um, a storage area for uh, mining and pumping containers with a little flyer that would actually uh, load them and unload them. But I think I have a different idea for this one. It's going to be some, somewhat similar to the mining rig extension on the big base bus, the new one that I just recently did. And I think I might have an idea to have that work with the air blades because this thing is going to be flying. It's going to have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of air blades. Probably not that much. We've got to stay confined to two generators, I think. But with that being said, uh, of course, there's going to be railings going around. I was having trouble with this corner here because, you know, six by seven doesn't make any sense at all. And I had this hole and I was going to like, well, what should I put in there? Should I put a block or something? I thought, well, what would be better than, than uh, you know, running lights underneath the bottom of the thing. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and start working on the next first section. So I think we'll work on the, the greenhouses. Let's put them in the back here. I think this will be the back. I have no idea. But same thing. I'm going to go ahead and uh, place a hinge, place a post, and go from there. Okay, there is the area for the greenhouse. Houses. Uh, but I have two of them, one there, one over there. Uh, that's a little glass to area to park the car on when you come over. And then we'll go on to the next spot. And I guess we'll go work on this side here. This is where the, the power supply is going to be and the drop down ramp. So then I, what we're going to do with this one is... Because I've been having issues lining things up with these windows being off size like this. I thought they were going to be smaller, more square, but I guess we're stuck with rectangles. So what I'll probably do is I'll probably do two out because I have up to 35 meters from that beacon. Uh, I know this because uh, I know that I have up to 100 meters, as I said. So what I did is I try to figure out how to get the hypotenuse or what the size would be if the 
diagonally it was 100 meters so if we were at one corner then the other corner would still be animating and that'd be a 70 by 70 meter square and I can't stand on this stupid thing for some reason I don't know why all right so we're about 31 meters there so I can go to about here and that's where I've got on that one there it's about 33 from that beacon which is actually a little offset but that's besides the point and I again I gotta remember to do this because there's nothing like trying to build stuff and have it sag on you so now this one this one is gonna be that doesn't have to be that big does it well might as well so on this one I think I'm just gonna leave this one completely glass uh, I am gonna have the entire thing all connected with conveyors I'm gonna be using the conveyor connectors for everything of course uh, we'll probably go one. Yeah, we'll go one more. Actually, no, I do need to get that center point on here for the hinges. So take things out carefully, because the last thing I want is stuff to fall apart on me. And it has happened. So we'll do that. Do that. Oh. Done that once already today. Alright, so 29. Ah, good enough. Good enough. And then, like so, this is going to be our little little hub here. Uh, again, these windows are not going to fit, but we'll make it work. So we'll go 7 that way, 7 that way. And on the same on this side. And there. I don't know why it turned on me. And then on this side is going to be a hinge, and it's going to be basically just a, a loading ramp. We can drive up and down. Uh, we turn air blades off, turn the air blades off to get it to lower down. Uh, everything's going to be on hover mode, of course. And then on this side here, we're going to have our power supply, where the generators are going to be. We might get some solar arrays on here, just for the sake of it. And let me encroach down here that and I gotta do this side too so let me fill out these parts and we'll bring you back for the next one okay this side's all done now while well, the layout is anyways so let's keep the, the main power area over here like I said a little little glass parking spot for us and then we can build a room here with some jennies in it and put some solar panels on the roof and whatnot uh, they will be deuterium generators uh, there's gonna be uh, water rig at the other end there. We're going to start working on in a minute here or laying it out. But this is this is my ramp idea. So what I'm going to do is this whole section here is going to be more or less free. I'll have a couple of air blades to support the weight. But most of the, most of the actual lift is going to be on this section here, which is going to be free. Um, you know what I mean? Like unlocked hinge so when I'm hovering up like when it's uh, the air blades are powered up it's actually gonna lift this up to sort of create like a wall so when I cut the power to like, get it to lower down this will actually drop down it'll sort of create like a nice gradient to get up sort of like a little ramp to get onto the main ramp and yeah so that's gonna be that you'll make more sense when I start getting the mechanics all put in so now we go to the other side here uh, I was thinking about this front area too. I think what I might do is I might have like a little landing pad for any flyer I may want to want to build, and probably have the main flight control room up there. It's not often you need a, a flight flight control room for your base, really. But on this side here is where the the fun's gonna happen. I'm gonna have. I was thinking about this because, like I said, I was gonna have two like little drop down containers here that were self-sustaining with a loader in the back but now that I'm changing my ID on I think I'm gonna have the same thing I'm gonna have that little little f square hub that I have on the other side there but on the front I'll have the miners and on the back I'll have the water pumps so if you ever need water we can fly over a lake drop the pumps down fill up the container full so you got deuterium and then you can also drop the miners down and grab miner uh, grab ores wherever you may be so I'm gonna go ahead and start working on this side here and I'm gonna repeat 
that and then the the miners themselves are probably not going to have the glass floors I'm just going to have the glass here and then sort of like a sort of fork with the the boom of the the miners and the pumps coming up you know what I mean I know what I mean at least I think I know what I mean I think that's all that really matters but anyways uh, less talking more building okay here is the resource ring so our wing so what I plan on doing is like I said I was gonna have a drop down miner at either end or sorry at this end I'll probably have like six miners drop down because you know you don't want to be sticking around too long so six times means six times more resources and that's the other side too same thing we'll have a six pack of water pumps you can fly over a lake just drop it down fill up the fill up the containers and take off so that's going to be this end here um I'm sort of thinking of a possible walking arm for it. Uh, we'll have to see how it works. I will have to do some fine tuning with air blades on this. Originally, was I was thinking of using the the large air blades, and I started thinking, well, you know, I want to have the flyers lo loading and unloading the containers over here, and then I decided to go with the small air blades. And now I'm thinking, well, maybe I should go with the large air blades instead, since I won't be flying, except for up here where the main control hub is going to be, which is just going to be a seat with a couple of glass panels and a parking spot for a rover and a flyer. So let me go ahead and get this one done and okay I got it done. I wanted to put this thing here but I thought this was a, a one wide but it's apparently a two wide. So unfortunately we have to go with the glass cockpit which kind of suits a theme around here. Uh, let's see where I'm going to put it. Uh, let's actually go on the other side because there is going to be a railing going around this entire thing. Uh, what I might do, I'll just do it like that. Nope, we'll bring it out one because I'm going to have the railing just past the the glass because I can put blocks there to attach it. And with that, that is our layout. So we got our main control area here. It's where we pilot the base. And we're going to have a spot for a rover here, a spot for a flyer there. We're going to have our drop-down mining system on this side and the drop-down water pump on this side. Uh, it's going to be our main hub here. There's going to be, this is where the printers and all that stuff is going to be probably some small storage containers. Uh, I'm trying to limit the weight, which I know is trying to say a lot for what I'm trying to do here. But then, yeah, and then we're going to have the greenhouses in the back there. Probably a couple of food and drink machines. Maybe we'll scatter some plants around in the back there, like the, the pots. We'll have our power supplies over here with the solar array, possibly. And then we have a drop-down ramp for vehicular expeditions. And, of course, this whole thing is going to have... I'm thinking I'm going to be going with either sort of tower, like one block towers on the corners here with uh, air blades stacked in a cross pattern and same with over there these sections here I probably won't have the air blades on uh, this one here I might have to have something we'll see how this works especially with this this loading ramp and yeah uh, the main area here is going to be all gonna be all glassed in so it's it's gonna have a it's gonna be a base of the view especially when you're uh, 150 meters up I can't say a couple of miles but I also realize it's gonna be a fairly big project so I'm gonna end up breaking this up into a couple of different episodes but we have gotten uh, the, the blueprint set up for Skylab you know, you'll be able to drive around hopefully and take this thing out it's gonna be fully sustainable and it'll be something uh, it'll be interesting for the workshop for you guys but anyways, I'm going to call the episode here. Um, I got a fair bit done. It's actually a couple hours for me, especially trying to figure out the place of these windows because, you know, as I said, they're a little off size, but we work around it. But anyways, uh, thank you all for watching. hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.